banks. Jonathan, what do we know about the health of the banking sector? I also spoke to the Intesa CEO. Mm -hmm. It does seem that really depending on what kind of bank you are, you're doing either better than expected or much worse. I mean, definitely, this is a, a, a very interesting set of results, and we've got winners and losers emerging today. Look at Standard Chartered. Nothing really wrong with the results, but the steam's coming out of the share price. Commerce Bank, I mean, frankly, nothing positive on revenues, but again, the market's showing you by any market down 1% that there's still interest in the banking sector. Uh, you look at Salt Gen, again, travel versus arrive, nothing really wrong with the results, a bit lacklustre, um, and momentum is stalling, I think. Oh, but so is this expectation? I'm looking at Sandchart, and I was trying to go through the figures, and I'm thinking, is it just dividend? Do, do shareholders want dividend in banks more than they ever have? No, I think top line growth is absolutely what it's about. And you look at Natixis today. I mean, they were up 4% early doors. Great insurance, great asset management, great equities trading, great FIC trading. You look at HSBC, it wasn't really a, a 2 billion buyback on a 200 billion company. It was top line momentum. So I think banks that are delivering top line are going to continue to relatively outperform. But certainly, I think there's some fatigue setting in for the sector now and for investors. John, you're great at the second derivative of what these people are doing. What is the urgency to accelerate the change in business plans in big European banking? Well, I think as far as Brexit goes, the, the lack of any progress. I mean, these guys have to plan for the worst. They're being asked to plan for the worst. And in the absence of any um, progress, we're going to get more drip feed. You saw HSBC putting a 300 million initial cost on Brexit and talking about one to six, seven thousand people being moved to France. So I think top line, there's not a great deal um, that people can do. There's still too much liquidity. It's, it's hammering yeah. margins still. Um, and Brexit, yeah. uncertainties, regulatory concerns haven't really gone away. So it's kind of more of the same. 